you are so good. Almighty God, hallowed be your name. Almighty God, is forevermore. Adonai, Adonai, I worship you, O Lord. Son of God, you are so good, almighty God, hallowed be your name. Ah, your dominion is forevermore. I don't know, I don't know, I worship you. Oh Lord, Son of God, you are so good. Almighty Father, hello be your name. Your dominion is forevermore. Oh Lord, I don't know that I worship you. Oh Lord, Son of God, Father, you are so good. Almighty God, hallowed be your name. Your dominion is forevermore. Warren, Holy Ghost. Are in a lie, go in my soul. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, are in Holy Ghost, are in a lie, are in my soul. Are Jesus, are in Holy Ghost. Hooray in a life, hooray, hooray, oh Lord. Good day, every one of yours. Thank you for today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for everything. I know the Lord is faithful. He that keep us alive. He still has a great thing in mind concerning us. Greeting to you from the Calvary in the name of Jesus Christ. Yet today is another good day. Carved out by the Almighty God. Oh, what a great opportunity I have to share with you the word of the living God. Just as usual. Thank you for today. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for giving us this time to hear this word. It's a word that will help you out. It's a word that will build you. It's a word that will assist you. It's a word that will put so many things in order in your life. I am still speaking from the altar of truth, Christian Bible Church. On what we are going to share today, I title it, Learn to Say No. Ask God to give you appetite, power to say no. There are so many things you need to say no in your life. I know it may not be easy, but that, that is very, very important in your life. Say no to where you're supposed to say no. In other hand, say yes to where you're supposed to say yes. But they are speaking directly today, learn to say no. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
I ask grace. I ask favor. I ask grace, Lord. Abundant grace. To whosoever, O oh God, that are listening to me, I am asking grace upon their life. Father, power to resist. We need that grace. Power to say no. We need that grace. Power in any circumstances. To be bold to say no. Where you are expecting not to say no. Lord, I'm asking for that grace. To be sufficient. To as many, O oh God, that are listening. And to as many, O oh God, will let up listen to this message. Let the power that carry to decision. Let that power possess whosoever. That our life, O oh God, will grow with a meaning. That at the end of this journey on this planet earth, Lord, we will see your face on your glory. In the name of Jesus. Father, let your glory be sent. Let your power flow. Let your anointing flow. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Like I said before, on this title, I title it, Learn to Say No. Listen, you must say it. Because all we need or all we want to hear or all that will carry us through has been documented in the word of God. Ignorance is a sickness. For that reason, you need to know and to reposition yourself. Many people, destiny has been destroyed today. People that start well, today, they don't even know where they are heading to. Why? Some entanglement are full up, full up here and there. A lot of entanglements here and there. A lot of misfortunes here and there. A lot of things you never even would desire can appear. But today, if you can listen to me, try to say no. Where are you supposed to say no? If not, you will see that your life will full of compromise. And before you know it, you start practicing things you never even desire to do. There are so many agents today in the world. And they are pursuing one thing. Just to see your destiny are being destroyed. I'm standing today in the name of the Lord Jesus. If you can you agree with me and stand firm. And listen carefully on things I'm going to say today. I'm telling you. You will see yourself fly in the glory of Almighty. Just say no where you're supposed to say no. Don't compromise. Be a man of yourself. Be a man. Be a person of yourself. Don't allow anybody to rule you, to rule your conscience. Listen to me. We are in a journey that we one day aspire. The journey we are in is not permanent forever. One day, your steps, your journey will soon aspire. The question comes, what are we going to say on the last day? What will happen? Just as so many people today are suffering, not because of mingle they made with somebody who are not of their type and not of their kind. 
And their life is today is without shame. Why? Where they supposed to say no, they compromise. And before you know it, their original being will be taken away. And they will be start operating with another spirit that they never desire. The architecture of every misfortune in this world is Satan. The enemy of your future and progress is Satan. He always appears like a champion, but he's not a champion. The Bible declares him the father of all lies. Satan has nothing to offer to your life at all. All his agenda over your life is to destroy you. And that's why the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21, life and death are in the power of tongues. Power of tongues. And that is why learn to say no. Keeping silent is not the best. By what you utter, determine your future. By what comes out from your lips, determines your future. By what you utter, I say, by what you say, by what you desire, and you utter it, follow your destiny. And that is why, please, learn to say no. Gather the we gather to intimidate you. Gather the we gather to reel you into what you never desire to do. In that aspect, shout no. That is not my portion. If you keep silent and compromise, whatever you utter from your lips, I bear waiting for you. And they said, whatever you said cannot be forgotten. And that's why before you utter a word, try to know what you are going to say. Because death and life are in the power of tongues. Learn to say no. We are hearing a story of one man in the Bible, Joseph. Now what happened in the Bible? Genesis chapter 13, 9. Let me start from there. Genesis chapter 39. There are something that helped this young man. This young man, God showed him his future. He saw it clearly. He understand it clearly, just like you, just like you, you have a goal to fulfill, maybe you have shared it to some of your friends, you have a dream in your life to fulfill, maybe you have shared it to your friends, but take note, there is people that stand to be a dream killer. There is people that stand as a career killer. There is people that stand against the righteousness. Not everybody who share your vision will carry on. Therefore, please be careful. By setting out your vision to any man, by setting out your vision to any woman, by setting out your vision to whosoever you call your friend, what proof to you that that person is your friend? The story I'm talking about, about Joseph, he grew up the same mother, the same father, and the same family. He shared his vision. He revered the mind of God towards his life. And that is where the war started. But he continued moving ahead, saying no. 
to destruction. Say no to any discouragement. Say no to whatever that will draw him back to fulfill that vision. He continues saying, no. His brethren do everything to quench him. He said, no. They bungled him and sold him out. He said, no. Landing to a prison. They want to shift that vision. He said, no. There is something I received from the Lord. That vision must come to pass. He continues saying no to every attraction. Saying no to every hindrances. Say no to everything that Satan says in order to destroy that vision. He continues saying no. No, that's not my portion. I say no to whatever heaven said no. And I say yes to whatever heaven said yes. Learn to say no in your life. It may not be easy. But I have prayed for you. You will receive a grace of encouragement in your life. There will be grace of encouragement. My Bible said this young boy, Joseph at young age, one, they deprived him of his father's rights. They deprived him of his family rights. They sold him out in a strange land with a strange culture. Why? They are pursuing a vision. There is a dream he carried. Devil only want Joseph to renounce that dream. Assuming he opened his mouth one day and said, this thing is too much. Let that dream go. He never said. And God is watching him. Whether by any reason he will open his mouth and say negative to that dream. He continued marching on. In rain, in season. He continued marching on. Until when he feared that he's already there. My Bible says something in Genesis chapter 39. Oh my God. Oh my God. Genesis chapter 39 from verse 5. My Bible said it came to pass from that time that he he had made him overseer in his house and over all he had. That the Lord blessed the Egyptian house for the sake of Joseph. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all he had. In the house and in the field. And he left all that he had in the hand of Joseph. And he knew not of he had set the bread which he do eat. And Joseph was a godly person. A goodly person and well favored. Question come. He was very goodly. If you look at him, he's very handsome. Not only in the physical, spiritually. He's 100% correct. He was favored. The Bible says he was favored. Why? Because many things have happened on his life. Just for him to surrender, for him to say negative, for him to say this is too much, for him to say I don't want again. But he continues saying, with God by my side, I will make it. With God by my side, I will survive. With God by my side, I will achieve my vision. And God was monitoring Joseph. Children of God, do you know something happened? Terrible. The Bible says after God have released all this favor to Joseph, because Joseph decided, I will say yes to what heaven said yes, and I will say no to whatever heaven said no. 
He knew righteousness exalted the nation. Sin is a reproach. Whatever that will come on his way to draw him back can only succeed if they find sin in him. My dear, I know you are dreaming to achieve a purpose, but listen. Listen, to be a hero, to be a hero is not an easy. There is a name of heroes. There is a name of glory. There is a name of breakthrough. There is mention that very thing. You are dreaming to be in life. There is a lot of enemy. There is a lot of opposition. They will try in too many ways just to draw you down. They are just waiting you to utter one word. I don't want again. I'm tired again. No. Never you say no. No matter how situation. No matter whatever that surrendered you. Listen to me. No matter how rain, there will be a sunshine. Learn to say no. Don't agree with them. Don't agree with them. If they are saying negative, don't say negative. If they are saying no way, don't say no way. Because whatever you said has been established. When you open your mouth and call your husband stupid man, that man will become stupid to you. Even to others, it will not be but to you in particular. Because you said it in your mouth. Let that woman become a useless woman. You are saying no to the glory of heaven concerning that woman. And immediately you say no. That your woman is nobody. The spirit of nobody will come to possess that woman. Don't say no. Don't say no. Continue saying yes. Continue saying with God. All things is possible. The Bible said God bless this man. Bless the house of this man for the sake of Joseph. And this man has a wife. The wife of this man knew that before this young boy visit them and dwell with them, things were not okay. If there's somebody that will have been the most happiest person in that house is the wife of this man. But the wife, she diverted in another way. That is why you can only trust God and rely on him. Somebody who calls your friend can mislead you, can draw you. I was hearing a lot of testimonies. Somebody who start to wear end up as nobody. Why? He, he listened to a friend. And before you know it, they replant another spirit in him. Before you know it, the person become nobody again. Before you know it, they sweep out every good thing in him. I begin to walk on the on, on the voices of their friends. And whereas this is not the plan and the will of God originated to that person's life. This woman, she would have been the happiest woman. Joseph in that family is a stranger, and the stranger must go. But the eyes of this woman was diverted in another form. That is evil. And the Bible says, from verse number six, number seven, and it came to pass. After this sin that his wife, his master's wife, cast her eye upon Joseph. And she said, lie with me. 
Imagine. This is a woman that Joseph gave every respect. This is a woman that welcomed Joseph into her home. But this woman, she have another agenda. Please, I don't know who you are dealing with. I don't know where you are now. I don't know the level you are operating. And you see on your original agenda in life. Or you have been shifted. If you shift from your original agenda means you say no. Where are you supposed to say yes? Devil can only capitalize in your life. When he discover where you're supposed to say yes, you say no. He will start now operating on that person's life. My Bible said the wife of this man that adopted Joseph, wake on Joseph, and for the sake of Joseph, his faithfulness and righteousness, and God bless that family. The woman that supposed to be promoted was used by a gent. Go imagine. The eyes of the woman, Bible said, the eyes of the woman was upon a servant in the house. She's no more after her husband. Maybe you are like that. A maid you keep in your house now, you are seeing that maid as a lover more than the man that married you. Please, if that spirit is tormenting you. Continue saying no. I will never open my naked neck to my servants. You need encouragement. Say no. It's devil are doing this. Your servant can never be bigger than your master. That's exactly what happened to this woman. The eyes of this woman was shifted from her husband. He focused her eye on Joseph. Thank God. Thank God. Joseph says, shout and say, Madam, I am not here for this purpose. That is what people are looking for. It's so cheap for Joseph. Very cheap. Very cheap to him. To be having sexual relationship with his master's wife. Very secretive. But Joseph look at this woman and say, Woman, you want me to offend my God? Today, many people don't call sexual relationship. See, some say it's a normal life. No. No. Many people today, even on the process of having sex, they don't even know they are having sex with a snake. They are thinking that they are having sex with a woman, but never knew they are having sex in the mouth of snake. And after everything, they will carry your man power. So they are covered. Look at your life. Your business have collapsed. Your destiny have been destroyed. That is the easiest way to destroy a man. Or a young boy. You are just growing. Kissy, kissy. You end up in sexual. Do you know who you are having sex with? Do you know that woman? You are seeing a physical body. Do you know the power that are controlling that woman? Do you know you when you are releasing your power in the mouth of sex by it all? Look at your business. I've destroyed. Because when you start that relationship new, he said you to shout and say no to this relationship. Because you say yes to that relationship. Look at your life today. 
assuming you said no. You have not been thank God. Joseph survived because she, he said no to the demand of his master's wife. Assuming she, he said yes to that woman. Joseph would have not been a prime minister in a strange land. Now what I'm just trying to let you know. Devil pursued him from his father's house. He said no. Devil pursued him on the slave in a prison yard. He said no. He said now, a woman of honor present herself and say, Bible said his her eye was upon Joseph. Not for good of Joseph, but just for destruction of his destiny. Hear me. Not everything that is good is good for you. Not everything that is good is good for you. Not everything that sounds good is good for your life. Many good things have destroyed your life today. You call it good. But it's not according to the timetable of God upon your life. Assuming this young man compromised with her master's wife demise, Everything about him would have collapsed. She turned to this woman and said, Woman, no, I fear God. I am commanded of God not to do it. No. You know what happened? That what landed Joseph to prison. But that prison is a journey timetable God have arranged. From the prison he dream, he interpreted dream. From prison he become a prime minister. But assuming he say yes to that woman and have sexual relationship with that woman, everything about his career would have damaged. You are invited in office. Or God will say, sleep with me. So that I can promote you. Listen. No man can promote you. My Bible says our promotion comes from heaven. From above. If that man is demanding relationship with you to promote you. Hey, that is the day. We are going backward. Started. Not only you will destroy your career, your destiny, you will be injected some disease into your body. Say no to that organ. If that work is not there, heaven will give you another work. What am I going to say about bride? Many careers today have been destroyed as a result of bribe. Bribe. Say no to bribe. Even though you don't have anything to eat, rely upon God. You are not the one that creates yourself. You are a being that are created so special. People that eat bribe. Their life are wasted. Bribe. Bribe. No bribe. Blinded the eye. Bribe blinded the eye. Look at their life. Look at that man who gathered his way through bribe, monitor his keys, monitor his children. A cheater must be cheated. Somebody give you money. You correct money. The person that gave you that money or give you whatever when you turn back, the person will say it will never be well with you. Because you frustrated that 
person to correct that money. And the last word that person will say, this money will never make it on it. Go look at them. Look at them. What will I say about corruption? You want to jump somebody to make it in life. You want to march somebody down to move forward. My dear, it doesn't work like that. Whatever you show, you will read. When you match somebody today because you are in a high authority, listen, that authority you acquire today will soon expire. Nature will kick back. It doesn't work like that. Bible says righteousness exalted the nation. Righteousness exalted the nation. Words gather at peace, breast family, but words gathered by violence, the God's blood wasted their crying, crying against your future. Say no to evil. Say no to evil. Say no to fornication. Say no to adoratory. Say no to evil practices. Say no. Say no. Say no. Sin will never take you to anywhere. Sin will draw you back. Righteousness will exalt you. Say no to every evil practices in life. Somebody want to call you and roll you into an evil. Open your mouth. Say that person, no. Joseph succeed because she boldly told the woman, woman, no. No. I cannot do it with you. I cannot have sex with you. You are not my wife. You are my other wife. No. She, he ran away. That landed him in a prison. We are God taking from that prison to a prime minister. Assuming she said yes to the voice of that woman. Everything about his career would have closed. Yes. You may ask me, Pastor, but my situation is so difficult. Wait upon the law. You are not the one that created yourself. You are somebody that is taking care of you. Righteousness exalted the nation. Righteousness exalted the nation. Let me show you where you can read it if you want to read it by yourself. Rehearse it. Is very, very excellent. Let me show you what the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 34 and 35. Proverbs chapter 14, 34 and 35. Bible says, Righteousness exalted a nation. The sin is a reproach to the people. Righteousness will exalt you as a young lady. Don't sell yourself. If you sold yourself to a man, for that man to marry you, the day the money he paid on you expire, he will push you out. You cannot get a husband through sex. That's stupidity. Don't do it. If you have been doing it, stop. Because the man that drew you and promise you marriage through sex. He don't know how many women he, he promised the same. No, that's why you are there. Five years, no marriage. Three years, not because your foundation is sinking. Say no to fornication and adoratory. Righteousness will exalt you. Bible says sin is a reproach. To the people. Don't listen to them. Dear 
enemy of righteousness. Verse 35. The king's favor is toward the wise servant. The king's favor is towards a wise servant. Who is that wise servant? Who is that king with his favor? Listen, the king is almighty. He has potential of everything. His favor are going through a wise servant. Who is a wise servant? A wise servant is the wise, that man, that lady that stand and say, God, I rely on you. Whatever you say yes, I say yes. Whatever you say no, I say no. And that is a wise servant. Not a betray. When you are living a life of betray, betraying God that creates you, betraying the authority of heaven, you want to jump it over. No. That favor we bend. The Bible said the favor of a king is upon the wise servant. Be that servant today. The king's favor is towards the wise servant. But his wrath is against him that causes shame. The king's anger is toward any man that causes shame in a society that makes people to remain dead. You acquire an office. You acquire power. You want to use that power to intimidate. There is no one under you. To intimidate the less privilege under your territory. You are using your office. To do people. Say no to every spirit of duping. I God, the eye of God is watching you. Today, say no to every every evil. Say no. You are promoted in that office for the glory of people, not for tormenting people. Say no to evil. Say no to criminal acts. Say no to evil practices. Say no to duping. Say no converting people's wife into yourself. Say no converting youth to make merchandise of them. Say no to evil. Say no to evil. Say no to Satan and every of his Manipulation. Say no. Say you are a candidate of God. You came from heaven. You are a material to bless, not a material to destroy. Say no to evil practices. Be an encourager. Say no. Say devil, no. You cannot use me again. Say no to Satan. Say no to evil powers. Say no to evil spirits. Say no to marine power. Say no to a body spirit. Say no to a cutting power. Say no to marine power. Say no to Satan. Say no clock. to evil powers. Say no. The Bible says your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Your body is not a temple of destruction. Your body is a temple of Holy Ghost. Not a temple for destruction. Say no to every activity of Satan. Say no to every activity of Satan. Say no. Joseph said no. That would have been opportunity for Joseph. Because he is under security. And nobody will reveal it. Bible said the same woman. Many times she was approaching Joseph, sleep with me, lie with me. The Bible said one day nobody's in the house. 
Nobody is in there. Even if somebody are in the house, there is a territory nobody can go. Joseph is very free. He is very, very free in that Paris. But he look at, look at, look, he said, no, woman, if I listen to you and do this, I, my future is terminated. He said, no, I better say yes. God says she say yes to righteousness. But say no to evil. She look at the woman and say, woman, I cannot do this. If I do it, I'm wicked. It will affect my life. It will affect my family. It will affect my generation. Are you aware? God bless you. God designed you to be a blessing to your family. To be a blessing to your society. To be a blessing around you. But the calamity, things you have done, have seized all these things. And people that will have been benefiting through you and in you, they are suffering today. Just because you say yes. Where you don't need to say yes. Satan have nothing to offer to you. Say no to every of his activity. I told you, when you are having that uh, love, love, you don't know a woman, you are, you are mingled, agent of Satan. What you call woman, you are not seeing woman. There is a python under her private part. Whenever you think you are having sex, you are having sex in the mouth of serpent, in the mouth of python, in the mouth of demon. They will carry you to their coven. And that is where their like, life today are destroyed. Say no to Satan. Joseph said no. And God help him. The Bible says righteousness will help you. There's nothing good in Satan. There is nothing good in Satan. There is nothing good in Satan. His mission is to kill you, destroy you, and harm you forever. Jesus said, I come to give you life and life in abundance. But Satan came to kill, steal, and destroy. Say no to every activity of Satan. No to fornication and adoratory. No to worshiping idol. If you are worshiping idol, you are provoking God. The anger of God will follow you. The Bible says, the favor of the king is towards the wise servant, but his wrath is against him that causes shield. You are a product of heaven. You are not created by Satan. God is the one that creates you. Worship him. Don't worship idol. Don't worship image. Worship the holy name. Worship God the Father. Worship him in the name of Jesus. Don't worship Shlai. Don't worship man made. Don't worship Juju. Don't worship man made God. Don't worship anything made by man. You only worship Jehovah, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He that was not created is only Him you need to worship. Every other God say no. Say no. Your mom made. Say no. To you in the family, say no. Occultic power, say no. Whatever that is not of God. Whatever that is not of God. Say no. Only say no. Any environment that God is not, say no. Say no. And that is where the favor of Almighty will be upon your life. I beg you, I beg you, give your life to me. I beg you, wherever you are hearing me, listening to me, I say, give your 
your life a meaning. Give your life a meaning. Don't live wasted life. Say no to every activity that can never glorify God. Say no to every functions that can never bring upliftment to your spiritual life. Say no. Reject those friends that want to draw you out of God. Reject them. Say no to that friendship. Say no to that man. Say no to that woman who are not there to connect you to Almighty. Reject that relationship. Reject that friendship. Say no. I am for God. When you are doing all the things, the favor of God will go with you. I pray that. Try to know what you are saying to your children. Try to say, know what you are saying to your family. Try to know what to know what you are saying to your community. There is power in every war. Say no to Satan. Heaven will stand for you. I want to pray for you. Father, let this word be sealed in our hearts. Oh God of heaven, power to decide for good. Power to say no to every activity of Satan. Power to say no to that evil friend, to that evil relationship. Power to say no to every activity that can never bring upliftment. Power to say no, taking bribe. Power to say no, using office to intimidate minority. Using office to intimidate less privilege. Using opportunity I acquired to destroy my God. Power to say no. Power to say no. Power to say no. To every practice that is not of God. Power to say no. My God, my Father. It's only on this. Your favor will be upon that servant. I pray, O God of heaven. Let this word be sealed in our heart. To decide good and to say no to every activities of Satan. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. I commit them, O oh God, into your hands. Let this abundant grace flow. That at the end of this journey, Lord, we will be with you in the kingdom. Joseph made it. He succeed and he used him. Today is our turn to do like him. The king's favor is upon the wise servant. Lord, I pray that this world continue growing every day in our life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Remember, bless. Like I said before, our addresses is there. You can call for prayer or you want to ask some questions. There is a number there. Call. You are free. We attend to you. Wherever you are, look for a Bible church. Enroll yourself in a Bible church. Talk to that pastor you meet in that church to conduct a prayer for you. Either for deliverance or for anything for your life to be free from the powers of darkness. God bless you. We continue next time by his grace. I love you. May God love you more. Bye.